the first day of IOE. I hope y'all can hear me because I didn't take my case all the way off. Yeah. Um, and it's 6:18. I just went to the gate. I met my person that I'm gonna be working with, but y'all know I'm hungry. I got four legs today, so let's get this thing started. Just knocked out my first flight of my IOE. It's 30 minutes from Dallas to Killeen. It's a little itty bitty plane. 50 passengers, so now we're heading back to Dallas. All right, guys. I'm on the shuttle. Day one of IOE is done. I had four legs. We did Dallas to. Uh -oh. uh -oh. My phone talking. We did Dallas to Clean. Clean back to Dallas. And Dallas to Lake Charles. And Lake Charles back to Dallas. <sighs> I really enjoyed my IOE instructor. Such a nice guy. I should have put him on the vlog for sure. Everybody don't want to be on the vlog. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was good. And then, so on our aircraft, we don't have extra jump seats. So I had to sit in the seat as a passenger. And the lady that I was sitting across from, she was so sweet. And it just really made my day because it reminded me of why I miss flying so much. You know, going through training kind of, I was a little like, do I really, really still want to do this? But, um, just very nice comments that she gave and compliments how professional I was and so on and so on. It's just like a reassuring feeling. Like, yep, this is where you're at. This is what you should be doing. So, with a whole bunch of other things that I want to do. But I do enjoy flying. And I'm, I'm glad to be back flying. Anyways, on the hotel shuttle, trying to go back to the hotel so I can get my car and um, go find me something to eat because I'm starving and I'm not trying to get addicted to pretzels and Biscoff cookies on the aircraft. I'm not going to start that bad habit. No, no, no. I should have brought a lunch, but I didn't because I don't have a lunch kit because I gave it away to my friend. Now I need a bath. <laughs> Anyways, see y'all tomorrow for... Where do we go tomorrow? Tomorrow we go to, um, I was about to say Orlando. We go to Chicago. I dead head to Chicago in the morning. And then I do an Omaha turn and I spend the night in Chicago. I need to call my sister. So, yeah, let me do that. Talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. So, I just woke up from my post-IOE nap about a, about... 40 minutes or so ago and OMG <sighs> nap was great and clearly I forgot what a post flight nap feels like because it was amazing that tired that I used to be all the time just came right back just it's something about getting in the air and the altitude and the pressure and it just it makes me tired i don't know what other effects it may have on other people because some people still be having energy but y'all know i just like to sleep so all of that combined in the early the early morning i napped real good and then i got up to go to the tinkle tavern and the body pain i forgot about that too especially on that aircraft that was the Embraer 140 that we flew today and it is so small and when i i mean it's small and it's really like I try to practice correct ergonomics you know when I'm working on the aircraft and ergonomics you know just correct body movement and you know so you don't really pull anything or you're not sore you know you're just using your your limbs and your joints and your muscles in the correct manner ergonomics but on that plane it's really hard because the space is so limited even going down the aisle like all that fits down the aisle is the cart and me like there's no two people sliding by each other to make it to the lab and one going back to the, there's none of that on that aircraft um so yeah i can definitely feel the uh the aches and pains in my body already i literally got up and i was like oh i fell right back down to the bed i was like oh okay here we go. My body has to just readjust to these these movements again. Um, but I'm excited for tomorrow. It's going to be an early morning. I was just looking at my schedule. Um, I deadhead 
from Dallas to Chicago at 5.44 in the morning. My flight starts boarding at 4.52 a.m. I really should not have taken that nap today, but there was no avoiding it. So it's 5.57 right now. Um, the hotel should still be feeding us dinner tonight, 7.30, so I'm gonna go down and get dinner and come right back up to sleep. I was gonna try to wait for Brittany to get back so she could tell me about her night. But, um, she started later on in the day. Um, so I don't think she'll probably be back until like 10 something and I should be asleep because I have to wake up at 3 so I can be out of here by 4. What I really need to do right now is get up and pack my rollerboard. Today I didn't bring any um, luggage with me, no rollerboard, no tote. I just brought my, my um, well that's called a tote too, but my purse bag, you know, like the, my over the shoulder. Um purse tote thing um but since i won't be back now until monday saturday sunday monday i need to pack my bag for a three-day trip <laughs> uh, i really do feel i've been waiting on this day for a while now because i just really needed like reassurance that i still enjoyed flying and that regardless of the airline or airplanes or you know whatever little negative connotations you know that try to seek up sneak up into my head I mean it doesn't really matter it's just for me it's just all about um this is gonna sound so corny but today I just really realized it's really all about just the service and the, the customers and you know just making sure that I'm giving the best me out there to the people because that's what really makes a difference um, with your day, regardless of where you're going or who you may be working with or whatever. Um, it was just it was just nice to to feel that again. Um, but yeah, so probably gonna be a bum for like another hour or so, and then pack my bags and. I'm still up when Brittany gets home. I'll let her tell y'all about her first day ever working as a flight attendant. Alright. Good morning, good people. I'll keep doing it and I can't hear myself talk. Today is day two of IOE. It is 4.41 in the morning. And I'm already at the airport. Just waiting for the flight to start boarding. I'm deadheading to Chicago. And then I do a turn and that's it. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm very, very tired and I miss my KCM. I can't wait to get it back because these uh, security lines. <laughs> Y'all, I love airport watching. It's like the best. It is literally the best. This girl just ran like two centimeters and was winded. Anyways, it's probably gonna be me after this training and all the food that I just ate and weight that I'm pretty sure I've gained. <sighs> the struggle but whatever we'll get that back together later anyway so let's go do this day two of ioe hopefully i have another great day like i did yesterday oh um, yeah talk to y'all later oh uh, day two of ioe is complete <laughs> i am in chicago at the hotel -y. About to take me a quick little snooze before my sister comes and scoops me up. Um, the day was good though. I need to check my schedule. That's what I need to do. Um, so I deadheaded this morning, as y'all know, from Chicago, from Dallas to Chicago, and then uh, this is our little. Y'all know I'm not an Android user. This is our work device. I'm checking this because um, once I got to Chicago to work my actual IOE flight, it was supposed to be on the CRJ. Um, they did an aircraft swap, so I ended up flying on the 175. So that leaves me without having experience on the CRJ. Um... So I need to check my schedule to see if 
they may have changed my schedule or something um because i think they wanted us i don't know if it's mandatory for us to have um ioes on each aircraft that we fly i want to say it's not i think they just did that just because that is their preference um but yeah as i'm checking my schedule it doesn't look like anything has changed so tomorrow i'll just be flying the um erj 175 again which for me <laughs> it's so much better because you know it's a nicer aircraft I, like literally all day yesterday i was like hunchback of notre dame notre dame whatever on the Embraer 140 and 145 because standing just standing straight up like I can stand up straight but it was I was just paranoid the whole time that I was gonna keep clunking my head on the overhead bins or whatever so my posture yesterday was just off and then today on the 175 it was like finally like I can just stand up there's two galleys there's space for me to move around and all of that um two flight attendant aircraft the crew that i flew with they were both very nice um he bought me breakfast mcdonald's that was very nice to him um i can't even remember his name i got it somewhere around here but the girl's name was tori they've both been here about two years um yeah they they were cool um I did the first leg from Dallas to oh, Dallas, from Chicago to Omaha. I worked um, the flight attendant number one position, which is the first class position, which is easy peasy. Okay, there was no meal service. The flight was too short. The flight was only 58 minutes. Um, so it just did pre-departure beverages, beverages and snacks, um, and then on the leg back from Omaha back to Chicago. I worked the FA2 position and we pushed the cart and did snacks and beverages. And that was it, that was all she wrote. So I really like, so different. It's just so different. It's just so, so different than what I was doing previously. And I know I keep saying that, you know, this is not a comparison. Cause it's really not, but you know, when you just, when you've done one thing and you're doing something new, it's just, it's different. I went from working six hour flights and doing a lot of service to less than an hour flight and bing bam done. Wheels up, wheels down. <laughs> so, I don't know, yesterday I was really happy. You know, I was like, oh, I, I can do this today. I was kind of like, oh, I think I'm a little bored. So, I don't know. Who knows? We'll see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow I only have the one flight to Omaha if my schedule doesn't change. So, yeah. We'll see if they put me on a different flight to give me that CRJ experience or not. The CRJ 700 is what we fly. It's still not my... It's, I'm not in love with that aircraft either, so... <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I want to go... I want, I want to go to sleep, so... Bye. Good day, good day, people. It is Sunday... August 4th, day three of IOE. At the airport, sitting at the gate, just waiting for us to get boarding started and for my IOE instructors to come. Just one leg to Omaha, and then I'm gonna curl back up in a bed. I'm sleepy. Just want to give y'all a little update, and I'm back in the dress today. I don't know if y'all can hear me. Attention I keep doing that. For your health and safety, smoking is not allowed in Chicago or here International Airport or within 15 I'm in Chicago, feet of just terminal in case doorways. Violators are subject to a fine. Thank you for your cooperation. Um, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, I wore the pants and the button-up shirt yesterday and it was horrible. The pants don't have any belts. Loop, so I can't wear a belt with it and then the shirt just kept coming untucked all day like it was a mess so either I'm gonna have to buy I saw somebody they had there they like makeshift a belt like on the inside of their pants I was like that's just too much so like I said before it's just gonna be me and these dresses because I don't have time for that and maybe a skirt but even the shirts just keep something untucked 
So, anyway, that's the uniform struggle. Mom. Back on the um, ERJ 175. Comfortable airplane. <laughs> Comfortable as in I can stand up straight. <laughs> so, anyways, I'll talk to y'all when I get to Omaha. All right, y'all. So, this is my first official layover with a crew. We're in Omaha, Nebraska. Got a lash in my eye. It's a room, but you know, y'all like room tours, so here we go. Walk in, you have your couch, desk, wet bar. Is there a microwave? Oh, there's a microwave. That's always nice. Is there a refrigerator? And a refrigerator. So that would have been good if I would have brought food to warm up. That's TV. Got your Netflix, your apps, or whatever. Have double beds. A very cold air condition over there. And, oh, you know what? This is the same hotel that we used to stay at in Vegas. No wonder it's, well, it's me. Hey, y'all. We're in the bathroom. So. That's all she wrote. They are going to go to, I guess, a casino and go gamble their lives away and um, eat at the casino, they said. I'm not going to go with them. <laughs> Just not in the mood. I actually have a friend that lives in Houston and she's from here, Omaha, Nebraska. And she's actually here this weekend, so I told her I would link up with her, but honestly, right now, I just need to get some real estate work done, send over this contract, this application, so we can get some stuff rocking and I can get some money rolling. And that's about it. Good, Good morning. morning, lovely people. Welcome to day four of IOE, 5, 10 in the morning, and we should be boarding in the next few minutes. We are ah. headed to um, Chicago, then we're doing Chicago to Cincinnati, and then Cincinnati to Dallas, and then I'm done. So, it's like a Hi guys, how are we done? Look what I found. Hi people. <laughs> we're done with our lovely four days. It's 12.39. My nails look disgusting. I need to go get a manicure. I just think I want a manicure. I don't want no polish, no nothing. Just buff and cut. <laughs> and I'm hungry so yeah so that's the end of a lovely four day it wasn't bad yesterday I was a little worried about somebody that I was working with but she turned out to be alright so no more worries anyways two more days y'all and we graduate we graduate on Wednesday today's Monday hey hey y'all it is 5.07. I haven't talked to y'all all day, but today was officially the last day of class. I don't know when was the last. I guess I, guess I talked to y'all yesterday when we got back from IOE. Um, did IOE, finish up IOE yesterday at like, oh yeah, me, me and Brittany were on the shuttle or whatever. Um, so went to class today at 8 o'clock a.m. We got released about 4.45. Today all we did was um, sit in the classroom. We met with our union, um, our union reps. So we went over a lot of what the union does for us. And then the same union reps, they're over our bidding system, PBS, so the system we use to bid. So they helped us kind of walk through what it looks like to bid for a line once we become a line holder and then they help us set up a um a default bid so today was very simple it's just long just another one of those days when you're just sitting in the classroom on the computer um the new class came in yesterday so their first day of classes today shout out to all of y'all that i met last night that watched this youtube channel hi it's nice to meet y'all. 
everybody like y'all every time i see somebody that watches my channel and i really my channel is small it's like four thousand y'all not even i honestly i don't even know because i haven't checked in so long um i'm just a normal person <laughs> talk say hi you know whatever it is i promise y'all i'm very normal um but it, it is nice to know that y'all appreciate the youtube channel and all that stuff so it's still taking me a minute to get back into the vlogging thing and i just i don't know just my mental is just different but i'm gonna try to get back into it like on the trips and see how that goes and what exciting things i can i can get into and share with y'all um but something a little sad also happened today y'all um i think we lost another person i'm not sure how i think it's 99.5 percent facts that we lost one person today after coming 30 days of training word on the street is or word around the hotel is <laughs> she was in the other portion of the class remember i was in b so she was in a and i guess she lives here in dallas and so i'm assuming yesterday after ioe she went back home and then when we were getting on the shuttle this morning somebody texted her and she was like, I'm still at home. I didn't think we had class today. So long story short, she never showed up to class. I, they said the last communication they got from her is she was on her way, but we never saw her. And the entire class was together today. So I think that means we lost somebody and that truly sucks if we did because from our rules and regulations or whatever um if you miss the shuttle which the shuttle is mandatory to take <laughs> i had an ordeal with that earlier in training so it's mandatory to take but in the case of you missing it you have to at least still get to the training center on time before class starts so I don't really know what happened if she was late and, and just and I think she had already had they use a point system a point system for being late before I think I'm not really sure that's just you know chatter that was going on I don't really want to gossip but it just sucks <laughs> honestly it's just it's like dang but y'all know I mean y'all know me y'all know my story God has a reason and a will for everything so yeah I just hope everything works out for her whatever way it's supposed to work out so anyway what I'm doing right now is I am packing up my stuff because Brittany and I have to be checked out of this room at 7 a.m. in the morning so we check out why do I feel like when I was at JetBlue these are the same shorts I had on when I was packing my bag I'm gonna have to go back and watch that vlog um, it, I know it wasn't this shirt but I don't know who knows I wear these same, y'all probably don't think I had no clothes. I wear the same stuff all the time in these videos, I feel like. Anyway, so I'm just packing up my crap right now. Um, so I can put it in my car, and make sure I got everything. Cause I remember I drove to training, so I'll be driving back home tomorrow. My mother's gonna fly down in the morning. Fawn should be here tomorrow as well to pin me. The heifer forgot. I literally just reminded her, y'all, and she forgot and picked up a trip. So I was like, no, you got to drop the trip. You got to come pin me. So she dropped the trip. Somebody picked it up or whatever. So she'll be here tomorrow as long as, you know, flight loads work out. Um, and yeah, mommy's going to come. Mommy, my biggest supporter. She's going to come. And then I'm gonna go home and see my dogs because I miss them like crazy. I miss my pudding pops. So yeah, y'all, that's, that's all she wrote. I'm gonna try to get all this stuff done. I wasn't gonna go get a haircut, but I just look so rough. So I'm gonna let somebody out here cut it. Hopefully they do a decent job. Um, yeah. I got a haircut appointment at 6.30, so it's 5.13. Try to pack up all my clothes 
and just be done with that before whatever and then I know some of the people in class wanted to kind of go out for dinner tonight instead of eating here at the hotel what is that light is that better Sorry. Anyways, um, yeah, some people want to go out, so I don't know. I'm just tired. <laughs> that's 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 the only feeling I feel. And then this drawer thing that I bought from Target to store my clothes in. Um, my friend that lives here I told him I would give it to him, so so I don't have to take this back to. Houston with me because there's no place for this in Houston. No place really for this in my car with after I pack all this luggage back up. So that's it, y'all. That's all she wrote. I don't know where Brittany is. Who knows where that little girl went? Where Brittany went? Good morning, y'all. So last day in this hot ass uniform. Huh? Yeah. Say hi to Karen. Say hi to John. I don't know where. I'm looking all up the sky. Oh, look there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who's missing? Say hi, Deb. Say hi, Karen. Say hi, Mickey. Hello. Hello. Say hi, Lance. 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 Good morning. Why that look so shocked? Oh, up front. Adrian, Adrian, say hi. <laughs> she she <laughs> yes, Say good morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last band. Hey, well, not, not the last band, right? We got to come back. You should yeah. not sneak up on a gay man on his phone like that. You do not know what I'm looking at. You do not know what I'm looking at. Y'all heard that. Let me put the camera away. I'll see y'all at graduation. <laughs> Say hi, Fawn. Y'all say hi to Fawn. She made it. Say hi to my. Why is this zoomed? You was zoomed all the way in, Mom. <laughs> graduation's over. We're leaving. Bye. What do we do before the battery dies. Say hi and bye. Bye. Graduation's over. Bye. Hey, y'all. Do you recognize the background? Yes, you do because I'm at home in Houston, Texas. Oh, hallelujah. So. Yesterday after graduation, dropped Fawn off at the airport. Love her. Um, Y'all know I haven't seen her since December. Like, legit since we moved out of our apartment. <laughs> right? Or am I lying? That's the last time. So it had been such a long time. But we FaceTime and text all the time. I know some of y'all were like, where's Fawn? Where's Fawn? You know, just because people go separate ways when it comes to jobs and things like that does not mean friendships have to end, clearly. Um, at least that's not how I work. <clears throat> if you're my friend, you're my friend. Um, I'm home with my babies. Oh yeah, anyways, well, hold on. After graduation, dropped Fawn off at the airport. Um, um, hmm, Brittany from training is texting me with some juicy details and stuff and I'm like girl um anyway focus Alexia we went to San Antonio to see Carenza and Josh and Jahan and Normie Jahan my cousin had her baby he turned two weeks old today so I was so happy that I'm able to I was able to get to go see him before I have to bounce on to Chicago we have to report Monday at 7 a.m. So I'm gonna fly out Sunday midday so I was like might as well just drive up to San Antonio real quick um, make the stop so we got there last night like around 7 p.m. 
you know, fed and played with Jahan for a little bit. Woke up and left San Antonio at 5 a.m. So now we got home about 8.30 this morning. And my little monster Aspen. Hi, Spenny. And here comes Den Den. Hi, big girl. Say hey. Say hey. Yeah, so I'm home with my babies. 31 days is a long time to go. 32 days, 31 days, whatever. A month. We're not seeing my little pumpkin wumpkins, and I'm just happy to be home. So I'm probably going to relax some of the day. Look at all them bags. Like, it literally looks like I moved out of, out of my house with all them bags that I came back from training with. I don't even understand. But... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day and that's it. That's the end of this training vlog Playlist whatever you want to call it um, Yeah, trainings done On to the next part, but yeah shout out to all y'all that follow me on Instagram um, The love was overwhelming is really the only word that I can use for all of the the comments and likes on the one little picture that I posted or the I posted the one post it had four pictures but um y'all just you know what I'm grateful y'all are like already expectant of vlogs y'all are like yes 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 where are the vlogs and I'm like oh because I honestly I don't know y'all I don't know vlogging it's a lot of work it's a lot of work. <laughs> so we'll see how excited I can get about these trips. Um, and yeah. Hopefully I'll... S oh, blur. Blur. Focus. Focus. There we go. So yeah. Hopefully I will see y'all in another video for some flight attendant vlogs, regional style. So this will be different. A lot of y'all think I went to Mainline, just post, just based on the, the picture. And I know I've already said it in previous vlogs from my training experience, but I'm not at Mainline. I'm at um, a regional, wholly owned by American Airlines. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, thank you all for all of the support. It's been, it's been a crazy year. That's facts. It has been a crazy year. Um, but I just, I put all my trust in God and I walk, I walk the walk with him. And this is where I'm at right now. So I'm happy. I'm pleased. So let's go. Y'all just follow me along on the journey and <laughs> hold my hand through it. <laughs> All right. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for all of the support. I love you all very much. I'm glad to know that y'all missed me because <laughs> I missed y'all even more. Um, so yeah, until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye.